another beautiful day in Ohio, and this is my 2023 YZ450F Monster Edition. This thing is the beast. So today, we did the tune down. This is what I call my 350 map. Hopefully this comes out. 2,000, 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 RPM. I just did ignition. Minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, minus 7. Nothing too complicated. Traction control turned on to the max. And we are going to take it out in the woods and do a little trail riding. Uh, I know there's a there's a million different ways to detune these things, and I did a ma I did one where I just did minus 10 everywhere fuel and that, but I just like doing the ignition and it smooths it out nice. Definitely noticeable, and I call it, it is like almost like a 350. But mostly these bikes are so responsive. And it's so cool. Yamaha gives us the chance to, gives us the opportunity to tune them. But I haven't had a chance to ride this thing in the woods too much. So today we're doing that. And it is, it is a monster. But dial back a little bit. Whoa, definitely a little bit easier to control. And I'm hoping we'll have an FX450 here with all these updates, new chassis, and, but I can't wait, so I'm gonna ride my YZ. Dial back the power. I opened up the clickers a lot. I think I'm at, oh, I think I'm at 20 compression up front, 16 rebound, and I'm at the back, I'm at 20 compression and 18 rebound, high speed, maybe two. And it's still a motorbike, but it's way more friendly. And it's funny, this bike just, it runs really, really good for a fire breathing 450. That agility, that mass centralization, that works on the track, you can feel it in the woods too. It'd be nice to have an auto clutch. A recluse would be amazing. But with this map and opening up the clickers, it's actually pretty nice. to turn traction control on the number two in this map. And man, the trails are greening up. So nice. Kind of looks like a, a green tunnel. had the 450 around this loop yet so it's kind of fun the first time to see how it feels out here and I think my buddy at Brad at Rideworks I think we're gonna do a little tune in on the suspension on this thing because it's, it's great for the real fast guys but I want a little more comfort and a chop and to be able to open them up the clickers a little bit and take it on the trail. Brad already has a good idea what he wants to do. But I'm gonna ride it like this a little bit, just to kind of get a feel for how it works stock. Make sure we go in the right direction. The 
this thing is still a beast. I rode Dave's 450, my buddy Dave's, with the lowered foot pegs, and it was actually pretty nice. Noticeable, especially standing up. The green tunnel. going. We got some trees down up here. Hopefully we don't have any leaves on the few go-arounds here. Get back on my trail. But fun. Got some more trees. Lots of trees down. One thing on these Yamahas, this bike is tall. I've been riding my uh, TX300 a lot, KTM, and man, it's it just feels way closer to the ground. You kind of feel that height on the Yamaha when you get out in the, the side of the hill or you're wrestling around with it a little bit. trees huh. that was fun yz 450f Woods Loop.